Welcome back YouTube, I have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to compare the video stabilization of the S21 Ultra, the 12 Pro Max and the Pixel 5 but this time I'm going to take it to a whole new level. To make this exciting yet challenging I mounted each one of these on a racing drone. Racing drones produce tremendous amount of vibration while flying and the phone that can handle this should be the one with the best video stabilization ever. Just a quick disclaimer, the videos are not taken on the same day due to the sudden change in weather conditions, so in some cases the drone went out of control and each phone dropped at least once. So we had to continue shooting in different days. But I made sure the wind speed and the other conditions are almost the same in all days. The only difference you might see is in the look of the video. Here's the first round and all phones are using the wide angle lens with the standard stabilization settings and the video resolution is set to 4K 30. I will play the footage of each phone separately and then I will put them side by side. Now let's put them side by side. This is another part of the video to make it clear which one is better and in this round the 12 Pro Max was the best followed by the S21 Ultra and the Pixel 5 was far behind producing an unusable footage. Now let's move on to round 2. Here I will also use the wide angle lens but with the super steady mode on the S21 Ultra and the active stabilization on the Pixel 5. These modes give extra stability but they can only shoot at full HD resolution and both will be set to 30 frames per second. The iPhone doesn't have any special stabilization mode so I will use the same video from round 1. As you see in this round, the Pixel 5 and the S21 Ultra improved a lot and as far as I see the Pixel 5 was the best in this round followed by the S21 Ultra and the 12 Pro Max comes third. Technically the S21 Ultra and the Pixel 5 used the ultra wide lens to produce steady videos and then they got cropped in post to give you the same field of view of the wide lens. Also the 12 Pro Max's video is 4K versus 1080p from the other two phones. So I don't think the 12 Pro Max lost in this round but the other two phones used a different technique to overcome the issue and the cost was the resolution. And finally round 3 and here I will use the ultra wide lens with the standard stabilization settings at 4K 30.
In the final round, the 12 Pro Max's video was extremely smooth and I didn't see any impact from the drone on the video stability. The Pixel 5 was the second best with minor yellow effect here and there. The S21 Ultra was the worst as most of the footage was impacted by the drone movement. To sum up, the 12 Pro Max is the winner. It was the best in the first and the third rounds. My second choice will be the Pixel 5 because the ultra wide and the active stabilization mode were better than the S21 Ultra. So that's pretty much it. That was my video stabilization comparison between the S21 Ultra, the 12 Pro Max and the Pixel 5. This is the first time to do a video like this. So I appreciate if you can provide me with your feedback in the comments below. Would you like to see more of these or you think it's better to stick to the normal way? So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.